boys and girls, my name is Jude. Welcome to the service. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Our dear and heavenly Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this day. God, we are thanking you for this year that you have taken us through. God, we are praying for all those months that are left. God, may you take us through them. God, we are praying for those at home. May you protect them and continue to share your blessings, God. We are praying for all those who are, have gotten COVID-19. God, may you restore them and gain back their health. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Welcome to the service. Yeah. Jumpstart 3. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. This fruit right her is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside me. Got filled with the Spirit and it made me new. Wanna see that fruit coming out of you. God said when you trust you a new creation, time to accept that, that. that, that. This fruit right her is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside, inside me. me. This fruit right her is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside, inside me. me. This fruit right her is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside me. This fruit right her is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside me.
Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for what you've done for us this day. Bless our prince, such as our grand prince, mighty Lord Jesus, and our pastors. May you go watch over them and the mighty Lord Jesus. Bless them with your mercies and the mighty Lord Jesus. We pray for this country and may you bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. May you heal the sick people in the hospital in the mighty name of Jesus. May you give us wisdom, the mighty Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you may protect us this day in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you had a wonderful week in school. I want to welcome you to today's lesson. And as we begin, let us start by appreciating the worship team that has led us so well in worshiping God. And also let us appreciate Nathan who has prayed for us. My name is Teacher Carol and I'm so excited to be with you again this Sunday. Now boys and girls, we have been learning about the Holy Spirit. And last Sunday, Teacher Rehema taught us that the Holy Spirit is a gift that is given to all believers. Now, do you remember the memory verse? Could you share it with whoever is watching with you or listening in with you? And even as you do that, let us take a look at the craft that you did and sent in to us. Excellent work, boys and girls. That was awesome. Please keep doing your work and remember to memorize the verse and hide God's word in your heart. Okay, so get your notebook ready, your Bible, your pen, and we can begin today's lesson together. I'd like to ask you something, boys and girls. Have you ever been tempted to sin or to do something that is wrong? like stealing or telling a lie or disobeying your parents. A temptation or to be tempted means someone is trying to get you to do the wrong thing. Now, I have been tempted too many times. So boys and girls, what can we do when Satan tempts us to sin? Today, we are going to learn that the Holy Spirit gives us power to say no to sin and to live a holy life. When we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he forgives all our sins and we become the children of God. Now, as children of God, we are filled with the Holy Spirit and he lives in our hearts. The Holy Spirit then begins to change us little by little to become more like Jesus. Now, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11, and we shall read together. 
but your sins were washed away, you were made holy, you were made right with God. And all this was done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was also done by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit makes us holy and he gives us the power to say no to sin. So you see, boys and girls, we do not become holy by trying harder in our own strength or power. No, only the Holy Spirit can make us holy and more like Jesus. Now, sometimes we want to do what we feel like doing instead of obeying the Holy Spirit. But we must always obey what the Holy Spirit of God tells us to do and say no to sin. And what is sin, boys and girls? Sin is anything that we do or say or even think that does not please God. And what are some of these things? Stealing, yes, bullying others, fighting others, all these things do not please God. And the Bible tells us in the book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16, and we're going to read together, so I say, live by the power of the Holy Spirit. Then you will not do what your desires controlled by sin want to do. When we say no to sin, then we are living by the power of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes it can be hard to say no to sin, but we have the Holy Spirit helping us to obey, to say no to sin, and even to fight temptations. Boys and girls, did you know that Jesus was also tempted to sin. Let us listen to our Bible story from Luke chapter 4 from verse 1 to 13 and learn God's Spirit what Jesus led Jesus did into the Satan desert. Tempted. He had nothing to eat for 40 days and nights. After that, Jesus was very hungry. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, the devil tempted him. He pointed to a rock and said, if you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Jesus answered the devil using God's words from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps people alive, he said. Their lives also depend on what God says. Next, the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump off. The scriptures say that God's angels will rescue you. So Jesus used God's word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord your God to the test, he said, quoting again from the Bible. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a mountain and showed him all the world's kingdoms and wealth. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Go away, Satan, Jesus commanded. Then he quoted God's word one more time, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. As soon as Jesus said it, the devil left him. Then angels came and cared for him. Jesus had faced temptation and hadn't sinned, not even once. Boys and girls, did you see and hear what happened in the story? Jesus had just been baptized. In which river? Jordan. And he was full of the Spirit. Remember how the Spirit came on him in the form of a dove? Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, led Jesus into the desert where he prayed and he fasted. He fasted for 40 long days. And at the end of those days, he was hungry. Can you imagine how hungry Jesus was? He was very hungry. And that's when Satan came and tried to tempt Jesus to sin. He tried to get Jesus to disobey God. How many times did Satan tempt Jesus? Yes, three 
times. And what did Jesus say to Satan? Each time, Jesus used God's words in the Bible to answer Satan. He did not do what Satan wanted him to do. He did not disobey God. Now, the Holy Spirit was with Jesus and he helped him. He reminded him God's words from the Bible. The Holy Spirit also gave Jesus the power to say no to temptation, no to sin, and Jesus defeated Satan. So we see that Jesus was tempted, just like we are. But Jesus never sinned, not even once. So Jesus is our perfect example of how we can live a holy life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, for us to be filled with the Holy Spirit, we must be children of God. And how do we become children of God? Yes, by trusting and believing in Jesus as our Lord and Savior and receiving him in our hearts. Now, is there anyone who would like us to pray together so that you may receive Jesus in your heart and have the Holy Spirit living in you? If you'd like to receive Jesus, let us say this prayer together. Dear God, I am sorry for all my sins. I know that Jesus died on the cross to take away all my sins. Dear Lord, please forgive me and make me your child. Fill me now with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer, you are now a child of God and the Holy Spirit comes and fills you and gives you power to live a holy life. And now that we have received Jesus and we have the Holy Spirit living in us, we must obey and trust him always. We must obey the Holy Spirit. Remember, boys and girls, the Holy Spirit is God and he speaks to us through his word, which is the Bible. So we must listen and obey and do everything that he tells us to do. And when we do that, he changes us little by little and we become more like Jesus. He changes our bad thoughts that we may have about others or mean thoughts and he helps us to be kind and to be loving to others. He also changes the things that we do, how we behave and he helps us to become more loving more obedient and even more patient with others instead of being rude or selfish or even jealous in how we deal with other people. So boys and girls, how do we know that we are living a holy life? Yes, it's when we obey God and we say no to sin and only the Holy Spirit living in us can give us the power to live this holy life and be more and more like Jesus. So boys and girls, it's now time to learn our memory verse. Our memory verse is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And the Bible says, So I say, live by the Holy Spirit's power, then you will not do what your desires, controlled by sin, want you to do. Can we say that again? Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. So I say, live by the Holy Spirit's power, then you will not do what your desires, controlled by sin, want you to do. Excellent job, boys and girls. And now it's time for our craft. You're going to need a piece of paper 
your pencils, some colored pencils for coloring, scissors, and a roll from an empty or finished roll of tissue, and some glue or print stick. So I want you to draw a flame on this piece of paper. And when you're done, color it. And when you're done, take the roll from the finished tissue and cut. And then you take the flame that you already drew. We are going to use the flame to represent the power of the Holy Spirit. And then take this and use some glue or some print and stick it at the back. I want to show you mine that I did earlier. So here we are. I wrote what our lesson was about. And this is my flame. And it reminds me of the power that I have to say no to sin, to say no to temptations, and to live a holy life. And here is our memory verse. Now, when you see the roll, uh, the, the finished roll of tissue at the back stack, I can use this to wear or to put on my hand. And there you go. You've got power to live a holy life. You can make two. And you'll remember that you have this power in your life. Okay, boys and girls? Well done. And now, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson, but we will not end before we pray. We want to thank God and to ask for his help. So let us pray together. Our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that we who believe in Jesus are your children. Father, we pray that you would fill us with your, with your Holy Spirit and give us the power to live a holy life. Help us to be more loving, more patient, more faithful in all that we do. Help us, Lord, to be good and to, have, to be full of joy. Father, we ask that you'd guide us during the week. And where, Father, we have not listened to the Holy Spirit, where we have not obeyed, Father, we pray that you would forgive us. We love you and we thank you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I have had such a wonderful time teaching you today. Now enjoy the song that is coming. Sing along, dance along, and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Until next time, bye! What are you worried about now? Trying to figure it out now. God knows right where you are now. You know it's all in his hands now. Because he cares for you. Always cares for you. You know he'll see you through. He's always there for you.
To the 